Millions of people in Ontario will have to remember to bring a mask when they head outside today as face coverings become mandatory in Toronto, Ottawa and most eastern parts of the province. But there are some spaces where it's required and others where it's not. CTV's Angie Seth is following this for us today. Angie, how about how are people feeling about all of this today? Well, you know, you and I know that this has been a discussion back and forth. Of course, the advice of health professionals has led to several regions making masks mandatory in terms of how people are responding to it. Most are in favor, but not everyone is on board. Take a listen. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. If you want to get contact trace, get contact trace. But don't if you want to get a vaccine, get a vaccine. But you're not going to tell us to do what we don't want to do. So that's a demonstrator in Toronto gathering with others, not wearing masks. You can see there, they're heading onto the train, public transit there. And in Toronto, public transit requires all passengers to wear a mask. Now, this uh, group of people, they're in fact part of two groups, Mothers Against Distance and Masks Over Hugs. Their message is freedom of choice when it comes to wearing a mask. So in terms of where it is now mandatory in Ontario, Toronto's bylaw comes into effect today. Ottawa is at this stage recommending the use of masks, but the city is working on a bylaw that will come into effect on July 15th. Meantime, as you can see there, three other regional health units in eastern Ontario are also making masks mandatory, and that again begins today. Other municipalities in the Toronto region are also moving towards bringing in bylaws later on this month. Waterloo will also be making masks mandatory in indoor public spaces. They're going to be taking an education first approach. Meantime, over in PI, now that's a province where cases have been non-existent for weeks until this past weekend where five new cases popped up due to exposure from someone coming back from the United States. And officials there are now strongly recommending people to wear a mask in public spaces. When worn properly, a person wearing a non-medical mask or face covering can reduce the spread of their own respiratory droplets. Now, Premier Stephen McNeil in a press conference yesterday expressed his frustration, saying safety measures need to be followed or all efforts to combat the virus, Bev, will be lost. So what's the appropriate type of mask to wear and where does the bylaw apply? You know, it's a great question. What should I wear? Can I wear a cloth mask? Do I need to wear a medical mask? Well, certainly you need to wear a mask or face covering that will cover your nose, mouth, and chin without any gaping around the face. A face shield, is a, that's come into question as well. Now, it doesn't constitute a proper face mask, but health experts say it is, in fact, a good option for those who cannot wear a mask. Easy to wear, easy to breathe, uh totally acceptable in preventing someone from transmitting the infection from one person to another. Now, in terms of who that would uh, come under, those who are exempt would be children under the age of two, anyone with a medical condition or hearing impairment. In Toronto, meantime, the bylaw will include retail stores, malls, grocery stores, restaurants, uh, places of worship, as you can see there, theaters, cinemas, as well as casinos, areas that are exempt from the mandatory masks, Schools, private and public transportation, although we know in Toronto, again, uh, masks are mandated for the GTC. Uh, apartment buildings as well as condominiums are also exempt. But with these bylaws in place, businesses have a choice as well as indoor facilities. They can choose whether or not that they, they want to mandate the wearing of masks, Bev. They can also choose to refuse service or entry in order to keep everybody safe. So we're really looking at what we're constituting as our new normal, at least for now. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, Angie, thanks very much for this. You're welcome.